This is the start of my dust collector top hat cyclone uh, dust separator project. I'm going to have a big rubber made garbage can as the base. Um, above that, I'm going to have this is the lid, and I've routed, cut it circular, and routed out three quarter inch rim to help that seal. I'll seal it with foam or silicone or something. And then, this is the beginning of my top half of my cylinder and it's an 18 inch piece of PVC and with my top hat I've routed that as well so that'll sit down on more of a permanent type nature um, here's my inlet I took this piece of pipe and I cut it and messed with it and trimmed it and cut it It'll basically come in six inches inlet, about a 12 inch high top hat, so that'll get things swirling before it goes into the cone. And then this is the layout of the cone, my first attempt to make the cone layout in plastic, but in finalized I'm going to do it uh, larger than that in sheet metal. I'm working on my rocket. That's what my wife's been teasing me. Well, anyway, I got the plans off Bill Pet's site, and he's got a cone that's about 30 inches high from the cone part, and 6 inches in diameter on the base, and 18 inches in diameter on the top. Well, I need 18 and a half diameter on the top, and 6 on the bottom, so I've copied everything here, but I've gone some extra degrees here, I think probably about 75 go a little bit farther on that. Um, I laid it out with an inch here for my rivets. I have this length, 45 is what Bill had said. I went to 46 and then I think with my extra length out here I'll be able to make it fit around my base. This is the this is the base we're putting it around. 18 and a half inch piece of PVC that I had that I've cut my inlet hole in. So we can kind of see what we're shooting for. This will be the top. Cone will come down here. It will be six inches at the base. Um, so I'm going to get out my magic shears and see if I can trim this out or roll it and see what it looks like. I'm not going to cut this off yet. I'm just going to come around the arc, leave this long trim it in a second. But I think my measurements are pretty close. Eye protection and earmuffs. Let's see what happens. Ear puffs, sunglasses, or safety glasses, and for this I'm cutting 22 gauge steel. This says it can cut up to 16, but as you can see I think we're kind of taxing them a little bit. But let's cut this now. The bottom trim, the top trim. I kind of have my marks. I've got some extra 
I'm rolling this, bending it a little bit. It's right here where I need like a, I don't know, let's go friend. Well, I'm pretty close. I got a couple of clamps on this. And I'm at my, my two lines. I lined that up. I'm not exactly flush. I'm not going to worry about that too much. So I've got this. So this presses in about an inch. A little more than an inch. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect because I'm putting this inside of this. And I'm going to cut this and just attach it to the green cone so I'm not too not too far off on that whole thing I think I could make this come in just a tiny bit I don't really know my bottom yet I'm kind of at the point where I haven't made I haven't made my bottom piece of wood but that's five and a half, six and a half, a little out of oval. So I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna call it good, and then when I slide this and into the piece of wood I make, it's gonna just go in there, and I'm gonna attach it from the inside. So it'll be something around this, and this will be around the pipe, so I don't have a whole lot of concern. Um, what I'm gonna do now, is put some sheet metal screws in this and get it bent, held in place, bent closer, trim it, see if I can solder it and call it, call it happy. Well, I am continuing to work on my rocket and or my dust collector tunnel. So, cylinder, tunnel, cylinder, something something I have pulled it together and I've thought about which way the stuff's gonna cycle around in here so I'm folding this piece under that piece and I'm try and get some more clamps on it. for one second look who shows up Jojo the cat the rules the internet kitty 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 you want to play in there huh nope see ya well here comes the dog dog and the cat cat or dog dog and the cat living together
bloopers. power, oblong power, cylinder power, cyclone power. So I'm going to see about my mad skills and see if I can't solder this together. Soldering is just a form of welding with solder. Well, we got a welder. I can't weld this, I don't want to weld this. I wouldn't mind soldering. Okay, I am... I'm out here working on my rocket and or dust collector. So I just glued this in. It, uh, it's close, it doesn't seal. But I put a bolt through here. And then in here so I can hold it in place and then anywhere there's little cracks along here I'm just going to caulk it because that fitting was not uh, not a very easy fitting to make. I'm not too sure how you'd do that with much more precision. And then on the cone, I've got my cone put together and I just made a piece for the bottom and this is how the bottom's going to go through it's going to need a little caulking too it's way more difficult to make than I had planned but I went here and soldered it I've got the screws on the outside now the heads on the inside which makes it fairly smooth and then I soldered along here um, you can't even really see it in there now. It's all covered in dust. So here we go. I turned it over. This is where it's going to sit with the top hat on it. Um, like I mentioned, I put screws outward like that, which I think I'm going to cover them with some duct tape or something when I get it sealed up. But that's going to sit like that. And then I'm going to connect the top hat next, I think. All right, this is what we're looking at. This is how it's going to go together. And I've just decided where the PVC meets the metal. I don't even really need to tie that together. I was going to screw it all together really hard and everything. But I've got gravity and suction on my side. So I'm going to make some pieces 41 of wood to go from from here to here to hold it and tie it all together so it'll be glued and sealed and held together in one piece such that I can um, take the screws out of it and take the top off it if I needed but I'm kind of not planning on it being clogged and not planning on it being much of a problem this is what I've got going now this is my top hat so it's going to sit on top of the cyclone like this and that's 12 inches high the part that sticks out right here is nine and a half a little bit more than nine and a half and I put two pieces on it and that's wedged in there nice and tight so it's not going to go anywhere but that will just sit So that'll sit up on top like that and I'm going to try and mount my blower right here. I'm going to start thinking about that in a second. I need to get some 2x4s to tie this whole thing together.